U.S. House sends Trump impeachment articles to Senate for trial The U.S. House of Representatives sent two formal impeachment articles against President Donald Trump to the Senate for trial. Trump has been charged with abuse of power for asking Ukraine to investigate political rival Joe Biden and with obstruction of Congress for preventing his administration from cooperating with the impeachment investigation. Seven House Democrats will prosecute Trump. You pics of bruised Sonia. Michelle used by Italian artist to show gender violence Italian artist Alexandro Palombi has used pictures of female world leaders, including Sonia Gandhi, Michelle Obama and Hillary Clinton, on posters to highlight gender violence. The posters have been edited to make the leaders look bruised and have just because I am a woman. Written on the Monsieur, violence against women is a global issue that affects everyone, Palombo said. Modi's eyes bulged out after Trump said, India and China don't share border. Book a book by two Pulitzer-winning journalists. A very stable genius has claimed that U.S. President Donald Trump had once said to PM Narendra Modi, it's not like you've got China on your border, PM Modi's eyes bulged out in surprise in reaction to Trump's statement. The book stated, Modi's expression gradually shifted from shock and concern to resignation. It added, India to invite Pakistan PM Imran Khan to attend SCO Summit Ministry of External Affairs. Mayor Spokesperson Ravish Kumar said that India will invite Pakistan PM Imran Khan for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, summit in Delhi later this year. As per the established procedure within SCO, all eight members as well as four observer states and other international dialogue partners will be invited to attend the meeting, Kumar added. Our flag is flying high at UN. India after closed-door UNSE meeting on JNK after China raised Kashmir issue at a UN Security Council. UNSC. Closed-door meeting. India's Ambassador Syed Akbar Adin said. Today, at UN, our flag is flying high. Those that launched a false flag effort got a stinging response from our many friends, neither. The alarming scenario painted by Pakistan or any of the baseless allegations were found to be credible, he stated.